What's up, Wayne Baron here from DogEffects.net. Just trying to align this screen up right quick. All right, we are inside of Edge Reflow. This is my second video here. I did just did an introductory video, and uh, so this one right here, I'm going to actually uh, do a simple layout design, simple, quick, fast. So let's go ahead and jump into it. What we're going to do here is that we're going to go up here, just like inside of Edge Animate, if you're used to it, you just go up here, you click on the little rectangle. And this right here is a div. Okay, we're going to go up here to the top, and we're going to bring this over. Not quite to the edge. Move this over just a tiny bit. We want to give it about 10 on each side. And then uh, you can... Okay, give or take, that'll be about right. Got 1.34% there. And huh, it doesn't show it over here, but it does from this side. So um, you can see it right here. The margin from this area here, your margin left, right here is moving. So, oops. Click right there. Okay, get back over here, and then you can see here. So let's put this at 10. And let's go over here to this side, and okay, the size up top you see right here is in percentages. So we're gonna have this one sit here. That way, it'll actually flow. Okay, we've got it set at about 97. Let's go over here and change that to 98 percent. Okay, and now that's setting at about 98%. Let's drag it over just a little bit. Okay. All right, let's jump over here. Let's go ahead and add in this right here. Um, Got to keep that in mind. You cannot, if, if you draw in a box, you cannot click. And if you click again, you're going to insert another box. So once you get finished drawing out your box and you're finished drawing it out, Go up here and click on your selection tool. That way you can actually grab a hold of your box and move your box around. Now let's say that you want this box and you want to duplicate it. And you want to add this box to this side. So what you do is that uh, Control D, Command D on a Mac. Okay, and then you just go over here. And as you can see, it it grabs a hold of your cursor. And it so then you just go over and you place it where you want it at. And you can barely see, I'm trying to point at the screen for you, but you can see right there in the center, you can actually find where it is to the top. So that right there should be it. And then you just click and then it sets it for you. And so as you can see, everything looks to be even with this bluish background right here in the middle. That's actually your alignment. So you're 48.10% differential between here and here for your center so then you just go over here and let's click and drag it in the center and that way we've got one two three whoops go back ah there it goes okay now you got 1.23 percent on each side that's between here and between here okay and now, um, as you can see, let's go ahead and drag this down just a little bit so we can get it even. And I think we can go down here, alignment panel, and let's align center, align right, match width. Ha, we don't want that. So let's see if we can, uh, yep, good, we can undo. So you can control Z or command Z on a Mac to undo so they do have that feature added in and let's go let's do a line center uh, yeah we don't want that either so let's just leave it like so okay we basically got it almost where we wanted it this is really a pain in the butt okay all right that's good enough all right let's go down here to the bottom well i'll tell you what let's go up here to the top Command D, go down here to the bottom, and put it right there. Okay, that is our header, this is our footer. Okay, so you go up here, header, and then, 
as before. And then you go down here and once again we got a footer. So, I mean, that's just your basic layout right there um, on, I mean, there's so much that can be done with this program, and this is just basically a start. You just grab a hold of your, your add a box, and you just add it in yonder. I mean, you want to come over here, click on your box, come over here to your styling. You can uh, come over here, and then you can add a one pixel border, and then, let me see here. Uh, go down and we want to have it doubled and we want it as one and let's give it a shadow let's give it a black shadow and it's going to be an offset and that way you can see it's got a slight offset to it right there at the bottom then if you go over here to view preview in chrome you got to save it so we're going to name this two And then as you can see, we've got our header here, we've got our footer, and our header has a border going all the way around it, and it's got a drop shadow on the bottom. And that drop shadow came from right here, from our shadow. And so, uh, I mean, just go in yonder and play around with it and see if you can't create some cool designs. Uh, post your link inside the, uh, the comments and uh, let everybody see it. And uh, so, anyway, good luck. Have a good one. And this is... Uh, Adobe Edge Reflow. All right, Wayne Barron, darkfix.net. Bye-bye.